Welcome back to Sunrise, and we are here. Thank you. This segment is brought to you by Natalia Clark's pink blanket that she is <laughs> nestled in behind my camera that is in my line of sight. Good morning to you, wherever you are, and the blanket that you are currently nestled in. Now, Hurricane Beryl might be gone, but st we are still fresh in the hurricane season. And this morning, Carlton joins us on the phone because he has no data. Activating <laughs> our Beryl financial recovery plan. Carlton, how is Beryl oh, treating you? Gosh. Good morning, Dennis. Good morning, TK. Beryl has been okay. I mean, the, the water here and there. But you can. How are you guys doing? We are good. We are, we are good. But we Carlton, are good. I know you're celebrating. Aren't you celebrating an anniversary or celebrating an You've anniversary? You've been celebrating an recently. anniversary. How many You've years been. has it been? Thank you, Dennis. I've been. It's 10 years. Oh, nice. happy 10 year nice. anniversary, Carlson. Following and, you on and social wife. media, we know exactly what you've been saving up on. <laughs> I'm like, ah, so that, these are the, the vacation tips that he was giving us. I love it. I love it. Congratulations and, and may God continue to cover your union, Carlson. Thank you very much, DK. Thank you, Dennis. All right. So, so talk to us. What, talk what? to us about financial recovery. All right, so the reality is we are going through this, and persons obviously um, still have an impact on their finances, on their money. I said, yeah, a lady in the market who said she's not leaving the market because this is where her money is. And I said to myself, people take their money seriously, whether there's a storm on hand or not. But the, why is the thing? Definitely not. But it brings me into this morning's discussion that people value their, their, their money. But number one, we have all gone through this, and I want us to assess the damage to our property, to our goods, to the business. We have to do an assessment now to see what money, um, you know, this will cost. How much money did we actually lose during all of this, the damage that, you know, occurred to our property? Um, number two, I want us to also look at were the properties insured? Did we have insurance on the car, for example, or was the house insured or something that was damaged? was insured to see how we can now reach out to our insurance companies today, tomorrow, find us houses that we can start recovering from a financial perspective. That's a very important part um, to look at. But number three, it may be time to draw some of that money that we have been saving in the emergency savings. Uh, this is something that we have been talking about. Um, from maybe early on this year or last year, building emergency savings, this is an actual emergency. So if that you had any amount of damage, any amount of um, thing that you would have lost, now is the perfect time to look at how much money you can save from this saving to put you back in a better position or to where you were before. You need to do that. And what is done to note is that even though you may have a million dollars saved, for example, it doesn't mean that you're going to move all of that money now because you have an emergency. So true. You assess how much you need to use at a minimum to put you back to where you were, all right? Say, for example, we took out 500000 200000 or whatever it is, to get us back there. We have to start thinking, how am I going to put this money back? We are very early in the hurricane, guys. Uh, it's a record. It's the first time we have had this category of hurricane this early in the season. We have weeks to go. We have months to go. So we cannot use the money now, and then there's nothing to help us in. August, for example, or September is something at that point. So we must assess to see how much we're going to take from this savings because we need to start to finish as soon as possible. Number two from replenishing the, the, the emergency savings, we need to look at based on our next pay cycle, how are we going to start doing this? We cannot wait until next month or the next two months. As early as this month end, for example, we need to start putting the money into the savings account if we are using it to get our houses back in order or our assets back in order. Number three, I want to look at how that we can make a recovery budget. We need to start recovering. Temporarily reducing our spending on some fun items right now because we're in a zone where we must put back some money or start increasing our savings towards emergencies. So set a goal. After you look at how much money you can really actually save extra, do you make that payment towards the saving of the month so you can reach the goal. Set a goal, guys, as to where we want to go. And number five, I want to automate the money going to that account. Because if we do not do that during the summer period here, 
we get derailed when the sun is out next week or we start seeing the, 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 the prices and stuff, we no longer remember that we have a goal that we need to meet. Automate. And my last tip on that, I want us to prioritize right now on some essential expenses right now. So if so, we had projects that we want to make and these are non-essential, pause a little and ensure that we have enough money to put away just in case we have any more emergencies that are coming up. And it's important to note now, if you can avoid debt right now, extra debt, like in the credit card debt up now, you want to try to do that right now. Reduce increasing your debt because what that will do is take away money that you can put in that saving towards additional hurricanes that may come up or extra rain coming up in this season right now. And maintain discipline. It is so important to maintain discipline at this point in time because you don't know what will happen and we need to ensure that our money is still on point because it's so important to not season our time right now. But be safe, everybody. And it's so important that we remain uh, where we are. Be safe. Don't pay any hero right now in the storm, in the after effect of the storm, because you want to maintain, you know, your sanity. You want to maintain your safety. And your family is important. Indeed. Thank you very much, Carlton. Mm -hmm. You know, what? The, the one that resonated with me sure. was it's still early in the hurricane season. Mm -hmm. So yeah. more storms can come, you know. I so don't you. use our... Don't I'll use up your stash. Carter would almost remind us of that, too, man. Here I am, <laughs> it is celebrating. It's very early. Yeah, it's true. It, it, it will continue into November. That is so, so true. So it is very early in the hurricane season. And, you know, some of the snacks, them, some of the tin things where you're back, just go on, go on, Bill. What? Like, okay, you go and say, you have to eat half the things, them? No. Not necessarily. What hit me, what, what hit me was Carlton saying that it, this is a good time to draw on the emergency fund. We keep hearing, don't touch your emergency fund. Don't touch your emergency uh, fund. Save on your emergency. And I'm just like, wait, it's this true. Is this an is emergency. an emergency. Yeah. So it's time to touch it if you need it. Mm. If you need it. Not all of it. Yeah. But I said first, I said first, see what you Good talk. Good talk, uh, Carlton. Thank always. you very much. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you soon. Definitely mm -hmm. hope so. All right? Adios. All right. Adios. <laughs> All right, thank Adios. you very much to our Money Master Carlton. Coming up next, it's time for an Eye on Beryl update with our news team. We'll be right back.